Earth. I didn't know it could look so beautiful and peaceful. Mother Earth. Restaurants, doors, casinos, bars, all designed to squeeze those last precious few dollars out of the colonists' pockets. Well, at least they won't be needing money where they're going. It's all big money trap. That's the only reason they keep the colonists waiting here for at least six to eight hours to maximize their spending potential. Everybody looks tired and lost. If you got more than one suitcase with you, this is where you have to dump it. The bastards probably raid the contents and sell it to the stores after clearing the hall. It's a station guard keeping the colonists out of restricted areas. In other words, making sure we don't get out of this hall. Hey! You can't pass through there, colonist! That's the men's room. A realm of great mystery and foul odors. There's gotta be a real emergency before I set foot in a man's domain. It's the ladies' room. Locked! It's locked! There are 300 women here, and the ladies' room is locked? Good God! This is one journey I prefer not to embark on. Deep breath, try not to breathe. I don't even want to find out. Uh, I'll go some other time. I shudder to think what's been done in this. It's filthy. I can get my hands dirty? I think not. Instant heat. For that special moment when manly vigor is required. Fast. Ha! Their secret revealed! It's a potency pill vending machine. It's a garbage can. I feel like I'm spending my entire life pushing trash from one place to another. Weirdest thing, that. Hey, looky, it's a hole in the wall, cleverly concealed. You gotta hand it to them. They know security. It's a grill covering what looks like a narrow passage. It's screwed tight. Curse the day I traded away my screwdriver. I'm orange. It's a single iron coin. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Looks like it leads into a larger ventilation or service duct of sorts. These tunnels go on for miles and miles. Before I risk getting lost, I should at least know where I'm heading. If I go any further, I'll be caught on camera, and that's one show I don't want to be the star of.
It's a surveillance camera. It's connected to the station feed via an optical cable. going on? Who's there? Hey, hold on, stop right there! You're not getting away, colonist. Back to the pen with the other sheep. To purchase Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor, please insert a cash or credit chip now. Thank you for purchasing Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor. Please be advised that excessive use of Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor, can cause involuntary spasms and discharge. one of the station guards. Not while there's somebody in the room I can't. It's a coffee mug. Who's there? Hey, hold on, stop right there! Instant heat. I think that's like the number one source of manly vigor, or whatever. Ugh, no! Is one enough? Ah, what the hell. I'll use all of them, just in case. It's not as if I'm gonna be needing them myself. What the heck are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. You're going back to the pen with the other colonists, Missy. Spiked the guard's coffee with a bit of synthetic leaven. This doesn't taste right. I feel... Mary, Mother of God. I really feel... God damn! Madam Joy's pleasure suites on the promenade had better be open. This constitutes an emergency! Somebody's playing solitaire. It's a bank of security monitors connected to cameras around the station. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think this is a registry of all the prisoners on the station. Let's see. Yeah. Cell block registry. Cell number one, Agusty Bryan. Cell two, Ruth Pawani. Cell three, Morgan Anger. Cell four, Hammer Hansen. Cell five, reference G. Holloway. G. Holloway? Gordon? That's gotta be it. The Guardian's in cell number five. The Guardian's in cell number five. It's an official looking coat. There's something in one of the pockets. It's a short and thin cylinder. A magnetic key, I believe. That might come in handy. It's an electronic lock with a sliding cover. It's a magnetic key. Hello. You are a hard man to find. You? You speak Navin? Are you from Arcadia? No, but I have had a lot of practice. I I'm a shifter, like yourself. And as it turns out, the next Guardian, although I'm currently in denial. April. April Ryan. Adrian, have you come to free me? Or to question me more? I'm with the good guys. Well, I'm all that's left of the good guys. The balance, it is collapsing. I did not want to leave my... the Guardian's realm, but I... I had to. Nobody's blaming you, but if we don't get moving soon, we won't have time to save the world. Worlds! Can you believe I'm still not getting my head around that concept? What do we do? You just keep close to me. And let me worry about that, okay? I've had some practice in subterfuge lately. I will do as you say. It's Adrian, the Guardian. No trespassing. Hold it right there. Come back. Negative on that command, Central. Somebody's already taking a break. Over. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. He's a guard, obviously.
understand. This is a gateway to the Guardian's realm. A wormhole. Something like that. It's somewhere outside the station? Not far from this metal box. No, not far. I can sense it. It calls to me. Perhaps... Perhaps a day's journey on foot. We'll be going a lot faster than that, trust me. Stay here while I get everything ready. Don't go anywhere, okay? I will not. Believe me when I say I do not want to go anywhere. This place frightens me. Load pod. It's a single person pod, used to maneuver outside the station to do general maintenance and, um, clean windows, I guess. We used to run simulations of similar pods back in school, just for fun. It's a single person pod. I've got a few hours of simulated experience with these babies. They're pretty maneuverable. Fast. Oxygen filter? Damn, the filter's missing. Adrian's staying put, just like I asked him to. Just wait here. I'm gonna try and find a way to get us through the wormhole. Central, moving into position. Out. Roger that, Central, taking a break. Out. Two oh two one. Oh God, this is going to take ages. That's T one one up there and B four thirteen down there. C thirty four one oh two and one oh three. D ninety nine one to four and E twenty nineteen. Q, 45, 30, 31, and 33. Whatever happened to 32? Uh, and L, 9, 3, L, 9, 4, and L, 10, 8. G, 34, 15, and 16. R, 1, 90. R, 9, 52. And A, 69, 6. It's an inventory database of all the parts stored in the cargo bay. I'll do a quick search for the oxygen filter I need. Pods, spare parts, oxygen filters. Bingo! They've got a bunch of them in stock stored at L109. L109. G421 to... This whole row seems to be the G42 series. 
G981013 and L101011 and 12. E1489 to 102 and L109. L109, that's the one. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Oxygen filter for the maintenance pod. Oxygen filter. Launch pod. Step into this machine. What is it? It's a pod, a sort of exoskeletal spacesuit. Oh, hell, like you have any idea what I'm talking about? It will protect you when we travel to the gateway. That's all you need to know. How do I use it? Well, you don't. Or at least you don't. I will launch myself right behind you, and then I'll come to get you. We'll go through the gateway together. I understand. One thing, April? One thing, April. When we get to my... to the Guardian's realm, we may be separated, and I must give you a warning. Of what? Of the three trials before you get to the Well of Making. There are more trials still? I thought that since I had the disc... The disc is but the key, and a replacement for the disc that was broken when I... when I deserted the tower. You will still need to prove your worth to the balance that you can take the responsibility of being Guardian for a thousand years. Okay, so tell me, what are these, uh, three trials? The first trial is a trial of might. Defeat a powerful enemy using your talents in war and in magic. Great, I have absolutely no magical or warrior talents whatsoever. And the second one? The second trial is the trial of spirit. Face that which you fear the most, the darkness in your heart to go on. Spiders? You may not even be aware of your deepest fear, April. It is locked in your heart. The third trial is the trial of matter. To get to the well of making, you must cross an apparently insurmountable barrier using whatever means at your disposal. That sounds like the easiest one. So that's it? Pass through those trials and I'm home free? Yes. Like I said, there is a chance I might not be there with you. And in that case, you must make your way towards the tower. Okay, got it. Now, 
Let's hurry up before somebody finds us here. Go into the pod and don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Anybody here? Compared to this place, Arcadia was about as alien as my bedroom. Blue sand. Never seen that outside of a Picasso. Can't remember landing. I remember the wormhole, the dimensional shift, then this. Pod took a beating, though. I don't think I'll be able to use it again. That must be the Guardian's Tower. It's either very small or very far away, and from what I know of the balance, it doesn't settle for economy-sized. I think I'm in for a long walk. It's barren and lifeless. This world looks like it's on the verge of collapsing on itself. but I don't see... Adrian! He's not in here. So he must have survived the landing, but where is he? Adrian? Adrian! It's Adrian's pod. It's empty. The tower's closer than it was before, so I'm making progress. Very slowly. There's nothing out here. It's completely barren. Thing again. It's even bigger than before. 
I had wings, I could fly across. Since I don't, I'll just have to head back down to the desert and try to find my way around the chasm. It looks like... home. It's home. It's not... it's like a projection, but it's definitely the kitchen back home. The way it used to look when I was... eight or nine. God. No, what's happening to me? What? Who's there? Come here, Pumpkin. I got you something. Special. Dad? Daddy? Is that you? Hush, Pumpkin. Come here. Daddy's got something for you. Please, Daddy, don't hurt me. Didn't I say to come here? Come here, right now, bro. Daddy wants to give you something, Pumpkin. Come on. It's our kitchen, where Mommy cooks breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and cleans the dishes. I'm in my Sunday dress, looking my best for church. Daddy looks so... scary. Come to Daddy, Pumpkin. Come to Daddy. And I will make everything... It's a gold ring, but I don't think it's mine because I haven't seen it before. Daddy, please, you don't want to hurt me. You're not a bad person. You're not. Really, d don't. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. You came into our lives and you destroyed us. You took advantage of us. You're a frightful little beast. But daddy, you gave me this. You gave this to me, Daddy. You do care. You do love me. You're just not very good at it. No. You destroyed us. We were a... a family, and you... God forgive me. What have I done? What have I done to you? You did nothing, Daddy. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that I got hurt. I... I'd been drinking, and I... She was so beautiful. My little April, you were so beautiful. We wanted to give you a home. We wanted to be what your biological parents couldn't be. A family. That night, when we brought you home, I'd had a few drinks with the guys. I was feeling feeling a little dizzy, and and then your mother, she says to me, hold her, hold your baby girl in your arms, and I take you, and I hold you, and you, you look up at me with such startled eyes, like, like it's the first time you see somebody like me. I fell in love with you, my little baby. You were so beautiful, and you smiled at me, and then I... I don't know what happened, but I was, I was taking a step forward, and I stumbled. You fell to the floor, but you didn't cry. You didn't even whimper. When the doctors told us you would never walk, oh, my baby, I couldn't stand the guilt. I... I don't know why that made me into the monster that I am. Why I decided that hurting you was the only way I could face my shame. When you started walking, and then getting better and better at it, 
It was like you were mocking me. I was such a fool. A selfish fool, and now I... I lost you. Forever. I forgive you. You... do? Yes, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you, Daddy. Those rocks look dark and forbidding. Very ominous. The tower is very close now. Finally, I thought I'd never make it here. A large canyon circling the tower, and there doesn't seem to be any way across. Foreboding clouds. It's some kind of conical sandstone structure, reaching about a third of the way to the base of the tower. The canyon's filled with dense fog, blocking my view. It's definitely a very long way down, and the walls look much too steep to climb. I'd love to have a look at what's down there. It's the Guardian's Tower. So close, yet so far away. If I only knew it was on the other side, perhaps I'd be able to find a way to get across. friend April what the heck what happened yeah what did happen you're asking me I was just um helping this cute little sparrow with her new nest up in Riverwood next thing I know there's a blue light and then I thought for sure I'd been shot by a hunter's arrow and that you were an angel then I had a look around the place. This ain't heaven. I mean, this ain't heaven, is it? Sure it is, Crow. And I'm the Archangel April. Sweet! Are there any other birds in heaven? Hmm? Are there? Are there? Pretty ones? Hmm? We got all the dodos you could ever want. Oh, that's great! That's... Dodos? Dodos? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, I see. You are kidding me. Ha 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 ha, very funny. Why the heck did you bring me here to have a good laugh at my expense? I need to find a way across this canyon and into that tower over there. Why don't you just flap your wings and fly then? <laughs> oh, that's funny! I kill myself! Flap your wings and fly! Oh, baby! Ooh, that's a zinger! I gotta write that down somewhere. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> flap your wings and fly! <laughs> Jeez! Anyways, when did you ever need my help? Oh, sure, you brought me along. Let me do your dirty work once in a while. But come on! You could have done just as well on your own. I mean, you just left me high and dry at the end there, didn't you? Just up and left without a word of goodbye. I didn't mean to leave you like that, Crow, but you couldn't come with me. Oh, sure. Use me, then leave me. Don't worry, I know how that works. I'm not half as innocent as you seem to think. But I thought we were friends. Crow, we are friends. Good friends. That why you gave me the name Crow? Oh, I thought it was nice, all right. Real ring to it. Until I found out what a crow actually is over there in Stark. Crow? Right. Crow. The sneakiest, dirtiest, most despised bird there is. They're like flying rats. 
You even have something called a scarecrow to chase us off with, don't you? I mean, crows are so stupid. They're scared off by straw people dressed in rags. Huh. And that's the name you come up with? Crow? <laughs> bah! That's not... No? No excuses. I can't bear it. Oh, the pain. The pain. That's all I am to you, a flying flea bag? I'm sorry. I can't bear to look at you anymore. I gotta fly. Stay and shut up. I... But you... Gave you that name because of a cartoon character I loved when I was a kid. His name was Crowboy. Crowboy? He was the star of a series of what we call animated cartoons. It's like puppet theater you can watch on a canvas or a screen. Puppet theater. I love puppet theater. Crowboy was just the coolest bird there ever was. He was a crow and a cowboy. And he had a hat and a lasso and an albatross called Old Whitey that he rode on. He had an albatross? His own albatross? And every week he'd come to a new town where the bad guys were making life tough for everybody else. And he'd sort it out like a real hero. He was a hero? Crowboy? So that's why I called you Crow. I figured you're not a cowboy. So it'll be just Crow. And besides, I think crows are cool. Oh, damn. Get right. Get, dip, you know, damn. You know, I, bruh, me and my big beak. I couldn't keep it shut, could I? I had to say something stupid. I'm so stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. It was a misunderstanding, Crow. It could have happened to anybody, even good friends, especially good friends. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I'm so stupid. Are you going to keep beating yourself up, or are you going to help me? Time's running short. Of course I'm going to help you. Anything for you, April. Just tell old Crow what to do, and he'll do it. Like that. I can be a hero, too, just like Crow Boy. Okay, let me think. It's my faithful friend, Crow. What happened to you after I left? I just flew around for a bit. Would you believe it? I actually went back to Mercuria Harbor to find the old man again, see what he was up to. I kind of miss him. I mean, I hate him and I hope his hair falls out, but we were together for 20 years, you know, and there were good days. Well, one at least, one good day. Anyways, he was gone. Not a trace left of him. Either he drowned, or he got out of town with the rest of them. What's going on in Arcadia now? Don't you know? There's a great big war going on, that's what. The Tyrant are rising against the nations of the Northlands, and Mercuria has been evacuated. A lot of people are getting killed, and it looks like the Tyrant might win this time around. They got this huge, swirling, chaotic-looking magical weapon on their side. Uh, not anymore they don't. Really? Well, then maybe our guys do stand a chance after all. It was looking bleak there for a second, believe you me. I was even considering brushing up on my Tyran. Nian, or whatever it is those barbarians speak. Sounds like a bunch of guttural rubbish to me, you know, like... Not particularly refined, you know? Do you know what happened to my friends? Your friends? Sorry. No, oh, wait, 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 I think... That Venara you've been talking to? Abnaxus? I think I saw him heading north at a great speed. And Mr. Westhouse was kind enough to share a cup of whiskey with me when I went to ask him if he'd seen you. Good stuff. Bad, bad hangover. Other than that, I don't know. Sorry. Any idea what we should do? You're asking me? Me? You're actually asking me for advice? Me, huh? Don't see nobody else around, do you? I don't perform well when I put on the spot like this, you know. But, okay, I'm thinking. I got wings. If you need some flying done, I'm your man. Bird, I'm your bird. 
Thanks, Crow. Anytime, babe. I mean, ma'am. Miss April. 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 Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon to see what's below the fog. Into the... canyon? Below the fog? Are you scared? I didn't say that. It's just, well, fog clings to my feathers and... and... Would Crowboy do it? Crowboy would do it, but he'd be careful not to get hurt, and he'd come right back up again if he saw anything remotely dangerous. Of course. Okay. Hold tight. I'll be back soon. So what did you see, Crow? What was below the fog? You're not gonna believe me. What? I told you, you're not going to believe me. Just tell me what you saw. Nothing. Nothing? As in nothing out of the ordinary? No, as in nothing at all. The absence of anything. Below the fog, there was nothing. It was terrifying. Until you've seen what nothing looks like, you won't be able to fully appreciate something. Anything at all. I used to hate this blue sand. I mean, blue sand. What the heck? Now, though, I love it. It's sand, and it's blue. It's something. Not like that. Nothing down there. It was freaky. So there's no way I can climb down, cross over, and climb up on the other side. You'll fall into the nothing. I'm telling you, I don't even think time passes down there. You'd be falling through nothing forever. Damn. Any idea what we should do? Well, I got wings, and you don't. If there's flying involved, I should be the one to do it. Thanks, Crow. Yep. Crow, can you check out the tower for me? What? All of it? It's huge! Just see if there's any way you can get in. From here, it looks pretty impenetrable. I don't much like things that float in the air unless they got wings, but I'll do my best. Nope. Nope what? Nothing. I can't see how you're gonna get into that tower. It's sealed tight. Damn. Crow, can you check out the tower for me again? Seriously? I told you, it's sealed tight. As far as I can tell, there's no way to get in. Please? You say that like you really mean it. Back in a jiffy. And? Still nothing. Damn! Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon again. Again? But there's literally nothing down there! Okay, okay, I'll do it! Anything changed down there? Still nothing. Nothing at all. Crow, can you fly across the canyon to the base of the tower? Can a chick lay eggs? Well, I know you can't, but... Yeah, I can do that. Um, what was it you wanted me to do again? Just fly across the canyon and see if you can find any weird buttons or levers or something like that. What for? 
There must be a way to cross this canyon, and maybe there's a magical bridge that needs to be activated. I don't know, Crow. Just fly across and check it out, okay? Will do. Hang on. What am I saying? Of course you'll hang on. It's not like you have any other choice. What did you find? No bridge, that's for sure. But there's a well on the other side, on top of that conical sandstone staircase right below the tower. It looked magical. It had that no good, stay the heck away blue shimmer to it. So I didn't fly any closer. Who knows where I'd end up. That's gotta be the well of making. Well, maybe it can be making us a bridge then. <laughs> <laughs> Making us a bridge! <laughs> I'm killing I'm killing today! You're easily amused, Crow. My brain's one-tenth the size of yours. What do you want from me? But maybe you got a point. Maybe the well of making can help us somehow. It was only a joke, April. I know, but still. Crow, I want you to get me some water from the Well of Making. What? Are you crazy? How am I supposed to carry water back from... Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm doing that. Come on, Crow. Your beak is perfect for the purpose. I don't need a lot of water, and all you have to do is make sure you don't swallow. Hey, magic's got its upsides, I'm sure. I mean... Where would social welfare be without magic? But magic water in my beak? No way. What if I did swallow? If I'm lucky, I'll just explode or something. If not, I've heard stories, April, and none of them are very nice. Magic's not a toy, nor is it a food, and it certainly doesn't belong in my beak. Please, time's running short and the balance is at stake. You've got to help me, Crow. Don't you want to be a hero? Hero? Sure. Stooge? No. Oh, curses and damnation and all things mean and ugly. Fine. I'll put my life on the line, tempt fate, and risk a certain and painful death by magical poisoning if... If what? If you'll promise to pluck my fleas for the next, uh, year. One year? So honor and glory mean nothing to you? Not as much as a good flea plucking, no. Okay, deal. Now, fly! Yay! How did it go? Oh, good. Oh, we got what we got to do. What do I want you to do? I can't take the water, so you're going to have to do whatever it is we need done with it. All right, all right. I'm going to fire a good case and take the water away. Okay, let me think about it for a second. Not while he's got his beak full of water. He'll spray it all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, but I couldn't hold it any longer. Thanks, Crow. Yep. Crow, we need some more water from the Well of Making. Of course we do. And who's gonna have to go get it? Crow, who else? You okay? Uh, I'm okay. Okay, let's see. Where can we use the water? I got an idea, Crow. Uh? You said there was nothing down there, right? The absence of anything. Uh huh? The water in your mouth is magical water from the well of making. Oh. So what if we add the magic of making to nothing? What happens then? 
Um. Something, right? Well, well, why? Something's better than nothing. Fly down there and spit the water out on top of the nothing. Then get out quickly. Something will happen. I'm sure of it. I'm just not sure what exactly. Oh, 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 oh. Something all right, but what? Where's Crow? Crow, Crow, Crow! Oh, please let him be all right wherever he is. figure out how to get up into the tower. I thought I'd already passed the three trials. There's only something. I guess it's not supposed to be easy. I guess this must be the well of making. It's not as imposing as I thought it would be. Not even close. the well of making. It's very deep and very clear, and obviously magical. Water has shaped itself into a hand. God, you came. I thought you were lost for good. My path here diverged from yours. You had to pass the three trials. You were right in warning me. This place is like a Freudian nightmare. The first psychologist to arrange field trips here will rake in a fortune. I mean, talk about shock therapy. It is a sacred place. Only the chosen few can pass through the desolation. But then why didn't my hand work on the well of making? I mean, I passed all the tests, right? That is a mystery. You are to be the 13th guardian, are you not? The balance has picked you. Your hand should have unlocked the tower, like mine did. Why did it still react to your hand? Even though I left the tower, I am still the current guardian, and I will continue to be until you go through the ritual and take my place. Hold on. 
I think we're about to move. The tower is letting us in. <laughs>